Welcome to day four of the 30 day yoga challenge. This is a fun and playful full body practice for all levels with options to suit so that you can find what works for you. When you're ready, we'll start in a lying position. So come down onto your back. Then hug your knees into your chest. And start by taking gentle rock side to side, finding a steady breath. Keep the left knee hugged in and extend the right leg down to the mat. Draw the left leg across the body over to the right side, coming into a supine twist. You can reach the left arm out to the left side, gaze over towards the left hand. Then turn to your right and you'll turn around to lie on your belly, keeping the left knee out to the side. Come onto your forearms for a variation of Sphinx Pose. Pressing through the forearms to lift the chest, take a full breath in. Exhale out. Then lift the left elbow to create space. Thread the right arm through the left and roll back onto your back. Hug the right knee in to meet the left and then release the left leg down the mat. Draw the right leg over to the left side of your body, coming into that spinal twist again. Right arm is reaching to the right side, gaze to the right hand. and turn to your left to turn around and lie on your belly. Bring the forearms to the mat, keeping the right knee out to the side. Press the forearms into the mat as you broaden your chest. Take a full breath in. Exhale out. And stay as you are. Extend the right leg down the mat. Bring the hands under your shoulders and press up to find tabletop. Stacking the shoulders over the wrists. And we'll start by rocking from side to side to begin warming up the wrists. You can sway your hips a little bit, find what feels good. And then coming back through center, stacking shoulders over wrists. Inhale, dip your belly to arch your spine, look forwards. Keep this back bend and send your hips to your heels. As you exhale, round your back, ripple forwards, bringing shoulders over wrists. Inhale, arching the back, moving back. Exhale, ripple forwards. Keep this flowing a few more times. And if you'd like to exaggerate the movement, edge your hands a little further away so that as you come forward, you could lower the thighs, lower the hips to find cobra. Maybe you push all the way back to child's pose too. Come back to tabletop. Extend both legs to find plank and start to pedal out the legs, tapping one knee down to the mat at a time. Option to add in a little twist. As you gradually walk your hips back into downward dog. When you find downward dog, you can either stay moving or settle into stillness. Then lift the right leg high with an inhale, reaching through the toes to lift the leg as high as you can. As you exhale, bring knee to nose and ripple forwards to the top of a high plank. 
keep the leg close to the body as you exhale, move back to down dog. Inhale, ripple forwards, bring knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, move back down dog. Final time, inhale, ripple forwards. This time you'll step the foot in between the hands and reach the arms up for high lunge. Exhale, twist to your right, open the arms out into a T shape. There's always the option to lower the back knee down for added support here. With an inhale, the front arm reaches up, the back arm reaches to catch the back leg. Reach through the left fingertips, lengthen the left side body. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And bring the right hand to meet the left, coming into prayer position. Again, you can keep the back knee grounded or you could lift the knee here. Look at your front foot for balance, then step the back foot forwards to come into twisted chair. Keeping the weight back through your heels, hips sinking low. Release the twist, plant your hands and step to plank. Pushing the floor away, hold for breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, you could take cobra or upward dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high, spreading the toes, lifting the leg as high as you can. And exhale, bring knee to nose and ripple forwards, bringing shoulders over wrists. Exhale, move back down dog. Inhale, ripple forwards, keeping the knee close to the nose, shoulders stack the wrists. Exhale, move back. Final time, inhale to ripple forwards and step the foot in between the hands. Arms up, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist to the left and open the arms into a T-shape. If you're needing more support here, lower the back knee down. Then the front arm will reach up and the back arm will reach to catch the back leg. Inhale as you reach through the right fingertips, lengthen the right side body. Exhale, bring right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Hands come together in prayer. Option to keep the back knee on the ground or you could lift it. Look at your front foot for balance and step the back foot forwards into a twisted chair. Keep the weight back through your heels. Hips are sinking low. Slowly release and fold forwards this time. Relax chin to chest. Hands could reach towards the ground or maybe catching the backs of your heels. Inhale, lift the chest halfway and bring your fingertips to the mat. So you may need to bend your knees so that the floor is within reach. Lift the left leg back and reach the right arm up, coming into revolved half moon. Take it slow as it can be a little wobbly. Find a place to focus your gaze. Slowly lower the back foot and start to bend the grounded leg. With an inhale, lift up into that twisted high lunge. Exhale, in position, relax your shoulders. Inhale, spin around, spinning open into warrior two. Exhale, in position, relax your shoulders. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the mat and lift the left arm up. If this feels inaccessible, the right forearm can always come to rest on the thigh. Find a place to focus your gaze as you pause here. Looking down for balance, plant your hands and we'll step back to plank. 
push the floor away for an inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, always the option to lower the knees if you're modifying. Inhale to take Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale to Down Dog. Take a full breath in here. Exhale all the breath out. Then you could hop, step or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Again, bringing the fingertips to the mat. You may need to bend the knees to bring the floor within reach. Start by lifting the right leg back. Then lifting the left arm up as you turn your chest to the left. This can get a little wobbly, so go slow. Find a place to focus your gaze. Slowly lower the back foot and start to bend the grounded leg. Inhale, lift up into twisted high lunge. Exhale in position. Inhale, spin around, warrior two, relax the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale, front palm will flip. Reach back to reverse your warrior. Exhale, left hand will come down either to the mat or you could rest forearm on thigh as the right arm reaches up. Turn your chest open and pause here. Look down and plant your hands and step to plank. Inhale in position. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg high and open out the hip this time. Bend the knee. Circle the knee away from you a few times. And then in towards you a few times. And cross the right leg over the top of the left. Bend both knees and with control, lower the knees down to the mat. Like you're coming into a cross-legged tabletop position. Open your legs wide and sit back in the space that you just created. If this is too much, you can straighten the leg that is underneath and perhaps just lift up the leg that is on top. You have the option to keep the hands on the knees or you could bring the left arm under the back and reach the right arm overhead to draw the hands towards one another. It's okay if they don't quite meet, you could hold onto your clothing and settle into your breath. Option to close the eyes to help you focus your attention inward. Release the hands if they're bound behind you. And then come back into that cross-legged tabletop. Close the feet and push back into a cross-legged down dog. Reset the feet and then lift the left leg high, opening out the hip, bend the knee. And start by circling the leg away from you a few times. Then in towards you a few times. Cross left leg over right with control. Bend both knees lower down into a cross-legged tabletop. Open the legs wide and sit back in the space that you created. Again, option to extend the leg that is underneath and lift the knee that is on top. And you could either rest both hands on the knees or reach the right arm up the back. Left arm overhead, hands are drawing towards one another. Settling the eyes closed to pause here with the breath.
release the hands if they're bound. Come forwards into a cross-legged tabletop, but release the cross of the legs. Extend the left leg out to the side so that the foot is in line with the hip. Thread the right arm under the left, lowering the shoulder, lowering the head down to the mat. Left arm can either reach to the top of the mat or wrap behind the back. Come back to tabletop. Extend right leg to the side, keeping the foot in line with the hip. Thread left arm under, right lower the shoulder, lower the head to the mat. Right arm can either reach forwards or wrap behind the back. Come back to tabletop. Lower down to your belly. Bring the forearms to the mat. And lifting the right arm, thread the left arm under the right and roll onto your back. Hug both knees into your chest. Option to keep the knees together or to open them wide. And if the heels or ankles are within reach, you could also hold on to them too for happy baby. Begin to slow down your breath. And in your own time, release the legs down to the mat. Find your way to Shavasana. Relax your arms. And start by picking up your upper back and rolling your shoulders down your back. Then lowering the upper back down to the mat. Same again for the hips, little lift of the hips. Tilt your hips like you're tucking a tail in between your legs, ever so slightly, it doesn't need to be extreme. Then lower the hips back down. And then we'll settle in for stillness. I know we're all on different schedules, so I'll end the class here and give you the option to stay for as long as you like. Thank you for joining me for day four. I'll see you for the rest of the challenge.